Hey, this is the YouTube channel, uh, The Power of Your Mind and Inner. And uh, today, so I am uh, inviting Tony Wesley for an interview and to discover more about his uh, life changing and the challenges uh, which he um, walked through uh, the transformation in a very, very short time. So. Uh, hello, Tony. How are you? Hello, Veronica. How are you doing? I am really well. I am excited to be here for this interview and just excited about all of the great things that are happening right now. We're going through in this world right now a little bit of turmoil, a little bit of struggle, but what's important is what we are doing in our own lives and in ourselves uh, and where we are making those steps and that progress so you know we realize that i can't control the events that are going on in the world and neither mm -hmm. can you neither can anybody you know watching this but we can control how we respond to those things yes. and that is what we have to grab hold of Definitely. and that's where we have to get the positive energy out there so i'm just really excited to talk to you about all the things going on and let's go what what was the the biggest challenge so uh, and transformation in your life during the uh, the past six months since well, i yeah since yeah. i saw you the last time well uh a little bit of background uh again i'm tony wexler and i have uh, been an investigator that's my craft and my trade for for many many years and I'm also a licensed private investigator. And some people are going, wow, that sounds like a really cool job. And I, it was, I really enjoyed doing that kind of work. Uh, but a lot of investigation has to do with talking to people, establishing rapport with people, persuasion, influence, negotiation, and all these things. And also really uh, feeling a connection with someone because when you're talking to someone, you need to feel a connection. And what happened was for my transformation was I was getting frustrated because yes, I felt like my work was rewarding, but there was just something missing. Have you ever had that, Veronica, where you just feel like there's something yes. missing yes. and there's something that you really need to do? So long story short is I decided I wanted to train people in some of the skills that I learned as an investigator like persuasion, influence, some NLP, yes. some uh, how, how to build strong connections with people. And I started putting this together and then the COVID pandemic happened. And during that, I went out, I got some training for myself and I found out that coaching and working on transformational coaching is really something that everything in my life has led to. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing greater than to be talking to somebody and have them have that aha moment. You know, yes. the aha moment yes. when, yes. when you just realize that there's something really, really big that is about to happen. And when that happens, that's when the real change can take place. So when I'm talking to somebody and we get to that moment and we can help transform them, that it's there's no greater reward for me as a person. So I decided that my calling in life was coaching. And since I have been through being stuck in a rut and I know exactly how to get unstuck so I can help other people get unstuck. So that has been the biggest thing for me in coaching yes. and transformation. Uh, and then I have a podcast. Want me to tell you a little bit about that? I know you yes. know about it, but for the people yes, listening. Yes, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. I, I would like to know more about your podcast. So what, what's happened? How did you create the podcast? And also uh, the collaborations so with another people and the approach uh, regarding the podcast, because a lot of people, they don't know how to do that. Yes. Well, I had, before my career in investigations, I actually used to do some radio work and, and DJ work. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, uh, I'm not, not, yeah, I'm accustomed to having a microphone in front of me. I'm used to that. I'm used to being in front of groups, teaching in front of groups, talking, um, doing MC work, that type mm -hmm. of thing. 
Mm -hmm. So I decided, well, you know, a podcast would be interesting, but what do I want to bring into the world? And the idea behind the podcast is the Purposely Positive Podcast. Mm -hmm. So the name of the podcast is Strive to Thrive, which is my Facebook group. And it's also the name of my ebook, Strive mm -hmm. to Thrive, because that's what we're trying to do. We're out in the world striving, trying to make a living, but really, we really all want to thrive in life. And we want to, we want to wake up in the morning excited about getting up. So that's Strive to Thrive. And the Purposely Positive podcast, which is the second half of that, it's about being purposely positive. Because have you noticed that there's so much negativity in the world today? Every mm -hmm. time you turn on social media, there's people arguing about crazy things and just a lot of negativity. And I said, I, I want to break away from that. I want to break free from negativity and I want to put positive content into the world. So I started the Purposely Positive Podcast for that reason. And we have all different kinds of guests on the show. I talk with coaches like yourself and uh, people that are really helping others to transform their lives and also people who have stories to tell. In one of my podcasts, I had a cancer survivor on to talk about how he went through that getting told he had cancer. I think he had stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and how he beat cancer. And I thought that is the message that I want to bring out there, that cancer doesn't always have to be a death sentence. I did a series on the five biggest fears. Mm -hmm. And some of those things are fear of public speaking, fear of rejection, fear of heights, fear of mm -hmm. death. And we talked about all these fears. And I had guests on the show to talk about all of those things. So that was a really exciting series. And I'm just finishing that up. And I'm starting a new series here in January. And actually, that started on New Year's Eve called mm -hmm. New Year, New You. And how everyone wants to start the year with all these New Year's resolutions and how they want to improve themselves for the new year. Mm -hmm, so I mm -hmm. said, well, what are the areas people want to improve themselves in? Health, mm -hmm. diet, fitness, mindset. They want more adventure in their life mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. really a whole new beginning. So mm -hmm. I've got people on the show to talk about these things and it's really fun, really exciting. And then in February, I'm doing a special related to Valentine's Day. Because Valentine's mm, Day is that nice. season of love. The day and, of love. <laughs> yes. And one of the uh, podcasts is going to be with a guest who talks about going from a breakup to a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of sad if you're single on Valentine's Day and you don't have anyone to give flowers or card to or receive that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, when you get those flowers from someone and your world just lights up, but to not have that on Valentine's Day and no other people are getting it is a little bit uh, much of a downer. So I wanted to talk about how you can go from a breakup to a breakthrough. So these are the things I'm doing on the podcast. And it's just really great to bring this positive content out there in the world. Yes, I think so, because uh, especially in this pandemic time, so um, the people, they are looking for inspiration, for motivation, because uh, of, of everything what's going on uh, around the world. So as you mentioned it, uh, previously, there is a lot of negativity and the people they need so our challenges, they, are, they need our, our motivation. And so what, what was uh, your, your uh, biggest aha moment during this time? I would have to say that realizing that what, what things are going on in the world, that I cannot control them. I cannot control that there's a pandemic going on in the world. I cannot control if someone in my life uh, if a friend is sick, I can't control the economy. Uh, we have a lot of lockdowns here. Uh, I live in New York State, and they're locking down all these businesses where you can't go to restaurants, you can't mm -hmm. do these certain things. And I know it's all over the world they're doing this. I have friends in the UK who are on been on lockdown, and it's one after another. And it's frustrating, but you know when you realize 
you can't control this. Yes. What we can control our response to that. And uh, one of my mentors, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, talks about how life happens for you and not yeah. to you. Yeah, and to yeah. me, that is something really to embrace because we can't control what happens to us. So let's let those things in our life happen for us. So for example, you and I would not be talking right now if yeah. it wasn't for the pandemic, because I would not have found my place as a coach. We would not have met uh, yeah. through one of the groups that we met through. Yes. And yes. Uh, you know, I've met a lot of amazing people all over the world. Yes. And really it's because of things like this where we can virtually communicate. Yes, that uh, we we can enjoy the benefits of the COVID because there are not only negative uh, uh, sides of the COVID, but there are positive sides. So just in, in our case that we are creating uh, possibilities and opportunities for another people just to, to offer them the possibility to uh, work at their personal development and growth. And I think that's uh the the most what the people actually need to work at their uh, personal development and to move forward to don't focus on the negativity uh but uh, to the opposite to the positivity because that's what we need so we need to create as much possible um uh, positive energy and inspiration and motivation so I, I think that we are blessed because we created this uh, possibility, not only for us, but, but for another people too. So I'm very, very glad to, to be here and uh, to having this interview because so through our energy, through our um, mindset and wisdom so we can help another people. But I have another uh, question to you. Um, what kind of transformation did you experience it so uh, during this time, you personally? Um, what, uh, which areas of your life does affected this transformation? I would have to say that my biggest transformation is just realizing that I was put here, my purpose and passion in life is to help others, is to look for that greatness in somebody else that maybe they don't realize that they have, because we all have that. We may not believe that right now, but everyone has a seed of greatness. And my job as a coach is to look at somebody. Now, I don't, if I were if you were to hire me as your coach, I don't work for you. I work for your future self. Yes, I work yes. for your future self and I help you to realize that all those things that you have coming in your future that you, you deserve and that uh, you can actually reach out and you can actually go for it. And you can um, create opportunity in your own life and you can really look internally and figure out what your true purpose and passion is. And I will guide you along that journey. My passion, my purpose is to help others to find their purpose and passion is a huge revelation and a huge breakthrough and a big aha moment. Uh, I have another question, but firstly, what I have a confirmation related to, to your purpose. You know, everything what's happening in our life, uh, it's happening with a reason because uh, we are prepared for something bigger, uh, for something with, with a, a um, meaningful so that we can provide uh, such um, huge value to, to another people and to help them to transform their life. And I deeply believe so on this uh, uh, confirmation because it's a confirmation related to your purpose. Uh, if we have been walking through the hardships and we have got a lot of pain and frustrations, so it's because we, um, we have to learn our lesson uh, to go through the transformation 
to can help another people to transform their life. So it's like to me, uh, it's it's very insightful everything what I have experienced in my life. I mean, in the past too, and I I think that every single um, uh, experience that that I experienced so in my past it's happened with a reason just to to can understand much better um, the value of my life and my own value too as a coach and as, as a person too uh, so now the next question uh, what uh, has been the biggest struggle in your life ever ah okay well before I, I, I get to that, I, I got on a backtrack a little bit on what you said, uh, because I look at coaching as being kind of a guide. Yes. And the fact, like what you said about being or going through something, if we've been through something, we can help others. Now, I like to go hiking on occasion. And if I have hiked a path and maybe gone up a mountain, and in New York State, we have the Adirondack Mountains, and it's about a three and a half hour drive for me. So if I want to go hiking up in the mountains, but there are some mountains where you, you know all the right paths so that you have the easiest journey to get up to the top of that mountain. And if you've done that before, you can take somebody else along and you can be their guide. You can guide them along that path. So as mm -hmm. a coach, we're actually taking somebody along the same path that we've been through and helping them along the way and helping them to enjoy the experience. So with that, I'll backtrack into my biggest challenge. I think the biggest challenge that I ever had in my life had to do- No, the um, biggest the biggest struggle. Struggle, that's struggle, I'm sorry. Yes, struggle. The biggest struggle that I had wasn't involving me personally, uh, but it was, it was as a parent. I have a, a daughter and when my daughter was nine years old, uh, she was hit by a car. Oh. Uh, she was riding her bicycle and got hit by a car. You know, she survived, but uh, it was touch and go. She had a brain injury oh. where uh, she was in a coma for a um, period of about a week. And the doctors kept her in there for the healing process. But having to watch your child go through something like that as a parent. And then when she woke up, she had to relearn how to do things again. Mm -hmm. She had a, like a speech teacher and a physical therapy and have to learn how to, you know, balance and walk mm -hmm. because, you know, the brain is such an incredible uh, organ that we have in our bodies. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so she had to relearn all these things. And then uh, she went back to school and she was doing really well. And then uh, several years later, she uh, started having seizures and she's uh, now suffers from a seizure disorder. Mm -hmm. So I think being a, uh, a single dad of a daughter with, uh, with health issues like that has probably been the biggest struggle in my life because, you know, even as a coach, I want to do all I can to yeah. help her along the way. But sometimes uh, with our own children, it's very hard. It's very, very hard. hard. Yes. yes. And uh, yeah, and if you have, have a child and you won't always want the best for them and to watch them struggle and to watch them make mistakes, you know, you take that upon yourself yes. internally. So yeah. that's been probably my biggest life struggle, I think, at this yeah. point. Uh, how old uh, was she when, when this happened? So this incident? Oh, uh, she was nine years old when it happened. She's oh very my little. Gosh. So, oh. now, so, so now she's, she's older now and she's... Uh, she's out of school and she's, you know, an adult now and she's yes. been through some some working uh, and all that, but uh, but she's doing pretty well right now. So. So I'm very glad that, that everything. So it's it's good that she she is healthy at, at this moment. Um, OK, but that's what I mean. So we uh, we are going through bad experiences and um so we are uh, put it at proof you know because it's like a life proof and that that we uh, we are truth to 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 the deepest uh, uh, and, and painful experience and when you experience um, the, the, the the biggest and 
painful challenge like because it's it's like something that you you uh, don't expect in your life like me i have mm -hmm. had as well a heart attack huh? you did yes i have i had, didn't know that veronica yeah yes wow. i in 2013 i have experienced um a heart attack and uh, I feel again blessed because of that. So I believe profoundly in God um, because so just, my my life yes my life is saved. So uh, probably if my mom was not there so uh, near me uh, I didn't survive. Um, my daughter, you know the the most painful uh, what was at that moment that my daughter has experienced all this. She has seen all this. And I was unconscious at that time, at that moment. So, uh, but afterwards, so she she told me uh, how was uh, this all happening, and my mother too. But they never want to talk there about so because it's 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 very very painful. Um, they were fighting to save my life. Oh, yes. So they, they like they applied for help uh, to the hospital. They called my friends um, to help them out because my daughter was only 13 years at the time. Now she's 20, but so it's and until now she she has a trauma because of of that experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, our family members, when they go through that in our life, yes, uh, when they, yes. They, they watch that, they also go through a trauma. Uh, one of the things when I went through, you know, my divorce is, you know, I had to uh, realize that my kids were going through the same uh, emotional trauma, but on a different level, you yes. know, because they were, uh, you know, I was losing like a, a wife, yeah. <laughs> but they were losing like a mother and really they didn't lose her because she's still in their life. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a major thing. And sometimes we lose sight of that as people we focus on ourselves and mm -hmm. we don't focus on others so i'm glad number one that uh they were able to do all the medical things that they had to do to keep you up and running and uh yes. you look like you're in, in great shape right now and yes, uh, was, yes, that, yes. was that a wake-up call to you when that happened um, yes, uh, I understand that it was a truly wake up call because uh, I realized the fact that I have to pay much more attention to myself, to love more myself, and I needed a different approach to life. I was working as crazy. I was working very, very much, but I'm a workaholic, so that's now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, it it uh, gives me uh, many insights uh, in all areas of my life. Like, I transformed completely in all the areas of my life, my mindset changed, um, my vision changed, uh, and my relationships with the people. So I started just to clean up my friendship list and just to, to meet only positive people and to be friend with positive people who truly um, uh, helped me to, to move forward and people who believed in me, you know. And I think that um, there have been a, a lot of benefits uh, from there because so look at me now. So yes. it, it, it's like nothing happened. So it, I, I have that kind of feeling, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I love how you uh, just made that decision to have positive people in your life because the people we surround ourselves with are our biggest influence yes. you know again as a parent a lot of times we think as a parent that we're going to be our, our the biggest influence on our children but actually the biggest influence on our children are the people that they hang out with other friends and their peers so that's so important that we surround ourselves with positive people yes yes you know um it uh, uh the uh, positive people uh, so they are influencing all the areas in our life and our develop the personal development our transformation everything what's happening so in our life is influenced 
by by the the people that are surrounding uh, us but i have had you know if if um i have a look uh, back in the time in my life i have been all, uh, going through a divorce too many years ago so uh, during my marriage i I have experienced a marriage with a man who has a narcissist behavior. Mm -hmm. So it 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 has been incredible heavy and and tra traumatic as well at the same time and frustrating. But when I'm realizing the fact that I'm a very very um, uh, powerful woman, so just it's like because of everything what's happened i became the the woman who i am so today so and i'm very very grateful that i have um, learned uh, my lessons so because probably i needed that just to to be aware of my own value and to yes yes i i, I that's Perfect. I mean, you took you had several wake up call moments in your life then, yeah, just like yeah. I did, yeah. uh, you know, and when we have that wake up call moment, and that's actually what I talk about in my ebook strive to thrive is when you have a wake up call moment, you have a choice, you can go down the path of positivity, or you can go down the path of negativity, you can move forward, or you can go backwards. And that is when your greatest decision will be made. You know, I say on my website, your greatest success is right in front of you. You have to choose to take that path towards success. Yes. And it's not always an easy path, but it's so worth it. Yeah, it's so worth because uh, you prioritize yourself. You prioritize uh, your your uh, health and wealth. So, and between the health and wealth, uh, there is a long, long path that we have to create. And that's what many people don't understand. So because the, the, uh, the health, uh, uh, no, the, the wolf, it uh, came from the, when you are, ha when you create the ability to transform the life of another people and through appreciation, so then starts to, to streaming the wolf and it's like a kind of of uh, awareness and that i think that's very very important um to to make the people aware of 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 this process what mm -hmm. what is the path so between the health and the the wolf like it's yes. like it's a long path it's not easy as you said already but it's worth it's it's thousand percent worth yeah yes definitely and i like how you brought up appreciation because yes. that is so important we yes. have to appreciate things yes and that's why start out each day in the morning and don't wake up dreading the day i know i've sometimes had those issues in the past and sometimes we struggle with that but if we wake up and if maybe if we write down in the morning when we first get up maybe five things that we truly appreciate in our life focus on that appreciation then that will really help to set the tone for the day an attitude of gratitude and appreciation and that will really help you to take the right path to take that positive path rather than taking the negative path and you know there is another aspect in our life in our human behavior world that we have uh, uh, all together to master that's uh, the um, the gratitude when we uh, are not aware of the fact that uh, to to value what we have we get our lessons like me like you for example yeah it's it's like a, like a kind of punishment yeah because you are not aware of the fact what you have and it's like a kind of punishment of the universe and, and you know i truly believe in that it's like because so you need at that moment a wake up call just wake up mm -hmm. so yeah. you have to value what you have even at that moment in, in your opinion it's not enough because you think oh i want more but before mm -hmm. we get more 
we have to learn to value what we have and to, yes. be, to be grateful for what we have realized. Well, and if we face our challenges in life with an yes. attitude of that gratefulness and that appreciation, it can change our perspective on everything. Uh, let me give you an example uh, yes. is you're, you're driving to work one morning and maybe it's, it's the weather's not so great and boom, 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 you, you get that sound, you get a flat tire. That sounds like something, oh no, you know, this is how you could go. Oh, I got a flat tire. Now I'm going to be late for work. I don't need this. And you could settle in that negative tone or yes. you can think about, wait a minute, I'm driving a car. You know, I have this car that I can drive to work. I have yes. a job that I'm going to, yeah. you know, and if you have in here in America, we have this company automobile club where you call a number and they'll come and they'll change your tire for you. So mm -hmm. you can be grateful for those things and not focus on the fact that, oh, poor pitiful me, I have a flat tire, now I'm going to be late for work. So you focus on the things you're grateful for. Another thing that happened just before I started the interview with you, I mm -hmm. went to log on to my computer and I could not get on. It was like <laughs> I had black screen. I, what happened, it did the automatic updates and it took forever and I, get, I was starting to get impatient, but what I should have been doing is being grateful. Hey, you know what? I've got a computer. I can talk to my friend Veronica who lives, you know, thousands of miles away between the Atlantic Ocean and myself over a computer. And, you know, I'm grateful for this computer, even though it's acting up. Uh, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to talk to you in this interview. Yeah, yeah. No, but everything um, is happening with our reason. So, I mean, so uh, there is uh, another aspect that we have to learn to be patient. Yes, and that, <laughs> that, that is something I, I need to teach myself. <laughs> uh, so I think that uh, along the way, we, we, we get uh, like uh, small obstacles and um, where we have to learn from. Yes, exactly. So I have the next question. Um, tell me a little bit more about your uh, podcast. So how how did you created your podcast? Where is there that about? Um, whom are you collaborating? So it's and yeah, mm -hmm. generally all the strategy. How did you create it, your yes. strategy? Okay. Uh, well, as I said earlier, I wanted to bring positive content into the world. So Strive to Thrive, the Purposely Positive podcast, which you can find on most platforms where you find podcasts. You can look it up and on the internet. Um, but I decided I wanted to bring this positive content out there. So I said, I need to set up a podcast. So I started, uh, I purchased some material. Uh, I basically got on uh, a platform known as Anchor, which is where you can do podcasts on signed up for that and uh, kind of figured it out along the way with collaborating. Um, the podcast is actually sponsored by my business. Mm -hmm. So it's TonyWCoaching.com is the sponsor of the podcast. And the collaboration would be any guests who I have on the show, we choose a topic. Uh, we sit and uh, before the interview, we kind of discuss well, what do we want to talk about today? And for example, uh, the last podcast uh, that uh, that is on the air uh, right now as we speak, I'm not sure when this is going to be uh, available on YouTube, but my most recent podcast is called New Life, New Adventure. Mm -hmm. So uh, the coach who I worked with uh, has an amazing story to tell about how he turned the adversities in his life into adventures. Mm -hmm. So I said, I need to have you tell your story. So I invited him to be on the podcast. I did an interview, much like you're doing the interview with me. Mm -hmm. And then I take that audio from that interview. I take it out. I edit it so it's nice and clean so that it goes out over the air, add my music and load up the podcast and it's ready to go and then i post that always on my facebook group which is uh strive to thrive page that's where you'll find me on facebook or tony wexler you can find me there too i am very curious about your strategies strive to to thrive 
What yes. is the strategy behind so or, or of your name, of your company name? Okay. Uh, well, again, it's Tony W. Coaching, but Strive to Thrive is the group. And again, it's because, you know, I recognize that it, and it was something in myself throughout my life, I've always been striving, striving to pay bills, striving to take care of a family, striving to get ahead in life. But where is the thriving that we all want to do? Mm -hmm. And when we realize that we can not only strive in our life, but we can also thrive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that is the key. And that is what I like to teach people. That's what I work with my clients on. I help them to get unstuck, to go from striving to thriving. And I wrote again, the ebook Strive to Thrive. And then I named that uh, for the, my Facebook group. And when I decided to go and start the podcast, I needed to incorporate Strive to Thrive as part of the Purposely Positive podcast. So that's kind of where the strategy was behind that. Okay, that's very interesting uh, and, and very ins inspirational. Um, the last question um, is, what is your uh, give away for, for, for the entrepreneurs and coaches out your experience? So you're like a kind of homework that they can learn from you. What I would say that everyone needs to do, uh, I'm a huge procrastinator. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, my motto used to be, uh, you know, why do it today if you can put it off until tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> but I have had to overcome that procrastination. And I will give homework, a tip, um, to anyone out there who's trying to break free of procrastination. Let's say you have something that you know you need to do and you know that you want to do. Uh, is there something, Veronica, that, that you want to do? I'll use you as my example. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I want to do a Facebook group challenge. Uh, Actions Accelerator is the biggest uh, coaching program that I, I want to offer. Oh, yeah. And so I, I want to start with the advertising and then I'm going to do that just to, to do for a group of 200 people like okay. this yeah, at once. That's great. Uh, yes. now, do you have a date picked out for the challenge when you want to start it? Uh, not yet. I have a webinar at the, at the end of this month, 30 January. And this a uh, uh, very long webinar. That's the mm -hmm. quickest way um, to keep the attention uh, of the audience and to, oh, to nice. provide them value. So, and uh, I would like to invite you as well as a guest during this webinar. That would be fun. <laughs> Yes. Now, is there something that, that you're procrastinating having to do with this Facebook challenge that you want to do? Um, I think uh, so uh, more structure in the coaching, I think, and like uh, um, an action plan like 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 this, I think. Yeah. Okay. So you need to put together an action plan. Yes. You're kind of putting that off. Yes. Okay. So this is what I would tell you to do if you're procrastinating. What, what I would tell you to do is to go out and uh, write a check. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, I don't know if you, you use regular checks where you, yeah. where you live. Okay, write a check and make it out to somebody or something or maybe an organization that, uh, that uh, you know, that you really don't care if you give them or not, uh, or even to a person, okay? Like even you could, you could do this even to your daughter. Uh, mm -hmm. You could write out a check for like $100 to your daughter and put it in an envelope and say, if I don't do this one thing by the end of this month, by January 31st, for example, um, then you get to keep this money and you get to cash this check. So what you're doing is you're getting leverage on yourself because you will lose that hundred dollars. You yeah. know, you'll have to give it to somebody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What what I did here in in the United <laughs> States is is with one of my clients is we had a presidential election that was coming up. 
-hmm. So I said, okay, you know, I don't care who you're voting for and who you're not voting for, but I want you to write a check to the campaign of the person that you do not want to win. And if you do not do this thing that you're supposed to do, you need to send that check. And <laughs> you can bet that he definitely did the thing he didn't want to do because he did not want to send that check. So it's about getting leverage on yourself. And that is something that I think anyone can use to help overcome uh, procrastination. Yeah, it, it's like life. it's it's pushing you to, to move forward. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> because, because then you know that if you don't do that, you, you will lose. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, exactly. So so that, that is one thing. And then uh, I think the other thing is to just to believe in yourself and to set yourself with a goal and write that goal down and look at it every day. I'll show you what I have in my pocket here. I have a, uh, a three by five card here and I have my goal yeah. you know, written down on this three by five card and I carry it with me. And whenever I get discouraged, I can just pull that out and look at that goal. And when I read it, I believe that it's already happening. It's already happened. Yes. Me too. I, I did it already uh, in 2020. I, I made like a goal setting plan for mm -hmm. one year ahead. Nice. Yes, I, I have written down. So um, everything what I want to achieve during one year. So mm -hmm. uh, and then I have another idea, another um, uh, very inspirational, uh, motivational tip, uh, a mind map. So you can like, you can uh, design a mind map uh, with all your wishes, for example, uh, for the next three months, yeah? And, yes. And then you can design this and just to write inside uh, and then just to hang out somewhere in, in your room <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. where you can see your main map every single day because when you see that so you will uh, try to visualize that and you will striving to achieve that you know mm -hmm. perfect i like that it's like a almost like a vision board yes it's a like a vision yes it's it's kind of a vision board yes uh, and it will motivate you. Yeah, yeah. it's like a kind of pushing. <laughs> yes, I like the pushing. <laughs> yes, it will push you Yeah, and motivate you to take action <laughs> every mm -hmm. single day. So I think it's, it's, it's very interesting and very motivational just to, to do that. <laughs> it, I like that. Yeah, I like that idea. Yes, I have recorded as well uh, a video for my YouTube channel um, uh, where I'm giving uh, these kind of tips for the people who are procrastinating. <laughs> okay. So, so I think that it's, it's very useful just how, how to overcome the procrastination because I think it's the, uh, not the only uh, way how to overcome that. There are many ways. Like you, I have created a coaching program, Time and Health Management. And so you have to work at your goal settings as well. So to overcome the procrastination and uh, goals uh, for every single thing that you want to achieve for short and long time. Yeah. And yep. just to make a, a action plan for for your, your every single goal, yeah, and to schedule that, yes. And every single day you have to schedule something to take action because if you now don't schedule it, so then you will take action. Otherwise, so you will uh, postpone every single day, you know. So you will, oh, okay, I have enough time. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that I like to do is. You know how when you have an appointment with some person or like maybe even a doctor's appointment or whenever you have an appointment, you put your appointment on your calendar. But what we don't tend to put on our calendar is the things that we need to get done that day. For example, to sit down and for me to write copy for my website or mm -hmm. to uh, edit my podcast or mm -hmm. to sit down and uh, come up with a marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. But if we schedule those things on our calendar, then, and we treat them the same way we would treat an appointment with someone. For yeah, example, yeah, yeah. you and I have an appointment and our appointment is uh, for, you know, five o'clock. 
then at five o'clock, we're going to have that appointment. And if one of us can't make it, we're going to let the other person know, hey, I'm sorry, I'm running late or something came up, can we reschedule? But the things that we need to do in our life, we tend to, if we don't get them done, we just forget about them. Yes. So if you don't get a chance to, let's say, work on an update for your business plan and you scheduled that for three o'clock that day, and something comes up, well, then you move that just like you would reschedule an appointment with somebody. You would reschedule your doctor's appointment for the next week. So maybe you reschedule that for the next day. So if you schedule it, it gets done. Yes, that, but that's the way how, how, how I'm doing everything in my life. Because, you know, uh, if you will take a uh, look in my uh, uh, calendar, Everything is scheduled uh, uh, up to the end of, of the month or one month ahead because, uh, for example, I have just to create this challenge, I have to write this book, I have to record uh, this video, or I have the meeting with this person, I have uh, the interview with, with uh, a coach, for example, it's, you know, and then it's, it's everything. Um, it's it's managed and because of that so i have created this uh, coaching program time and health management so that you can move forward and another tip that i think it it's a, a quality that i have if i don't do what what i have um, in my calendar i don't feel good at all i feel frustrated so then you know and then I'm trying just to to keep the promise to myself, <laughs> but I think this is a very powerful quality because <laughs> it's like I'm lying to myself if I don't do that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You and I are kind of alike in some of these ways. We we uh, we have some of the sim similar strategies. <laughs> yes, yes. And yesterday, for example, I, I have had truly a, a, a lot of interviews, like about five interviews. And all the day I have been busy. So it's, it, I had barely free time, like only to, to drink some, some coffee and water. And that was all my time. But, but because I wanted to finish uh, all the work, so I uh, I didn't uh, uh, um, went to, to bed. I remained till uh, late in the night until like three, three o'clock in the night and I finished all the work and then I went to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got it all done though. Yes. You didn't, you didn't procrastinate. Yes. No. <laughs> but, but, but I hope that you will take the time to make sure that you're getting the rest too, because that's yes. important too. Yes, of course, I will do that. So uh, tomorrow then I have time just to, to, to take a break for myself and just to take care of myself. I want to thank you from the depth of my heart for your time and for, for your inspirational and motivational tips. And then I see you, I hope to see you during my webinar at the end of this month. Just let me know afterwards, what do you think about that? Uh, I want to, to invite our guests uh, uh, to like this video, to share and to subscribe. Um, and I want also to ask you to share with us the link of your website and your podcast. And then I will add the link of your website and your podcast. So below in the, um, in, on the YouTube channel, because these are record for the YouTube channel. Oh, great. Well, you can find me at Tony W coaching. That's T O N Y mm -hmm. W and then coaching. Mm -hmm. dot com mm -hmm. and that's my website you can find me on facebook uh, it's tony wexler and that's mm -hmm. spelled w-e-c-h-s-l-e-r mm -hmm. and i'm out there on facebook and strive to thrive page in facebook groups where i post the link to the podcast mm -hmm. you can get to the podcast on my website or you can just look up Strive to Thrive, the Purposely Positive podcast. It's on iHeartRadio. It's on Spotify. It's on Anchor. 
it's pretty much wherever you get your podcast. So I'll send you the link, Veronica. Uh, and this has been just a pleasure to get mm -hmm. a chance to talk to you again and to do this interview. And I'm very excited about your webinar and about you know your future challenge that's coming up yes. that you're going to start working on. Yes. And I'm looking forward to working together and collaborating in the future. Yes, of course, me too. So it's my pleasure too to, to collaborate with you. Uh, so let's uh, create massive impact and to transform the life of another people. Take care and I see you soon. Bye bye. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.